Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin Camille. For those of you that don't know, my birthday was this week. Um, it was on Thursday the 17th. And um, now it's Sunday and me and my friends are going to go wine tasting. It's about like 8.30 in the morning. So yeah, that's probably why I sound like this. That's why I look like this, but I'm about to get ready. The place is an hour away in Dahlonega. So I just wanted to vlog this and hopefully it'll be a really fun experience hopefully it'll be uh fun to watch i don't know if it's not i guess i just won't post it but um yeah so i finally got done getting ready uh, my original outfit my pants split but my friends are here now and yeah we're about to go and i'm just gonna show y'all my outfit on the way out and yeah Yes, but it told me this amount. <laughs> Why not? I think your science is a little off. No, Why it's not. not. I mean, just like this amount. This is all about, about perspective. It really is. It's very important. You know how much shit is below you right now? If you look how high we are. I don't disagree with you, but I'm just but saying we're, we're not on a mountain. We can be on a hill, but not a mountain. Well, we can't be on a mountain. Why, why would you be on a mountain? Do you know the elevation? What? Okay, look at what elevation qualifies something to be a mountain. <laughs> That don't you know, my, thing is, my thing is, how do you know we're that low to the ground? In one mile, turn left onto State Route 115. No, but listen, I know we like high up because 30 to 40 minutes ago, we was looking this way and it was like hills and ahead of us. Yeah. And now we're all the way where it was. Yes, I said we're on a hill, but we're not on a mountain. Why not? A mountain has to go above the ground. Maybe we below it? We're on it. <laughs> But the ground don't stop oh if you're on the hill. Like when you on a mountain, you know it don't. It's not like a cut and a break. It just cut it off and it go just, up. <laughs> like it just, it's a, it's a, it go like that. Show them look up at the mountain. Just do no, but I'm saying like think about your logic for a second. You said we had to be above the, the 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 like the flat surface, right? Yes. We not on a flat surface though. Okay. And we're still going up. So why can't we be on a mountain? Because I just told you why. <laughs> just because you want me to you say it again doesn't mean right. <laughs> on the top of the hill no. for it to be a mountain. <laughs> That's what I just said. Was that a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to it was, it was steep as heck. <laughs> what, is that a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, In one mile, take a slight right turn to Town Creek Road. So <laughs> the way I'm turning mine off. Like, mine's is not tall. Mine. I don't know. Like, so how you going to do like that? You just got look. Yeah. Just guess. No, no, it might have been two miles by now. I don't know. Let me look. No, you have to just like it gon' it's gonna move on your hand or vibrate, I think. Oh, now I'm not literally saying that the little mountain. the little thing is a new mountain. <laughs> I'm not saying the small little road, this little bump the hump in the thing is a mountain, but I'm saying like we've reached the top of a point. That we weren't on like because we we're closer to the mountain yes, I agree. which means that we've been traveling so think about this when you're going no but my thing is when you're driving to like uh like what's the um, ruby falls or something like that okay okay, okay, you're okay. Go look at this look how the how you can see what's below you oh, like you yes. can see well, all the elevation i keep agreeing with you on that part the part that i'm saying is not a mountain but i agree with you that we are at a higher elevation about what parts y'all not necessarily who you agree with 100 percent who you don't 100 percent you can literally tell me the logical and see what the definition of a mountain is and it'll tell you whether or not this is a mountain or not 
a lot of I feel like a lot of things we're arguing about aren't like argument. Like it's definite. <laughs> like what a species is, that's definite. Oh, don't go there. Yeah, we're not going there. We're not going there. <laughs> not on the phone, because I'm gonna have to sit it down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Wrap it up. Alright, was wait, what was the question? I'm gonna say. <laughs> And I think that's Latin when we were talking about species names. I think that's Latin. Yeah, it's definitely Latin. Which that's is a language. Was, that's why that was my point was it's the same thing regardless of the language you speak. A but Homo I'm, sapien, that's Latin. But we're yeah, Americans speaking English still calling it a Homo sapien. Okay, 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 okay. But a dude say he's in a remote area that don't know about. He can call it what he wants. You're correct. You are correct. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. But just because he calls it something else doesn't mean that's what it is definitely. It's just what he assumes it to be. That's what he calls it. <laughs> it's really where we need to be because niggas die every day. <laughs> Whoa, bro, where you have us going, dog? Who? You know that video? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You know, you've never seen that video where he was he's a reporter in Augusta. Oh, in the, in the yeah. bugs? <laughs> this country ass town. <laughs> <laughs> Insert video right now. Really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death. The fuck is that? <laughs> Shit! I'm dying in this fucking country ass fucked up town. <laughs> Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck? I can't see pilot. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. What you mean, yeah? I mean, what do you mean, yeah? <laughs> what if it's a one way? Who's, how do you exit? What if two, another car is trying to get out? It's probably like, like, like you go around. Do not mow. Okay. Y'all really think this is safe? Why wouldn't it be? You gotta go to the top. What do you mean, why wouldn't it be? Oh, we're going up the mountain now. Two way traffic. <laughs> that means another car could come. It, it gets wider. I think. I hope. Oh, Your my car make it? Oh. 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 You're so extra. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was so extra. Like, this. <laughs> <laughs> the destination is on your left. Three sisters' vineyards. Hey, if like another car comes, Arrive. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm saying, Siri, she, she, are you, are you in the right spot? Oh yeah. Shit. Oh, but see, I like it because they have it like covered, so you can't really see. I'm saying, if another car came, not like here, they can go around, but back there, what would we have done? We just been looking stupid. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. No, you parked down here. Got to. Girl. This is a tractor. Yeah, I'm trying to get drunk. Drunk with a tractor. That's why I'm in the bed. It's pretty close to me. You see these cars? Maybe that. Maybe go to that one. Yeah. What if they like had to wait at a certain time? You know what I'm saying? Hi, no colors allowed. I'm sorry. Yes, I could see them saying that. I could, but it was a white. It was a black man on Google. Drinking wine. So I have just one black man. You gotta be one. You gotta have one to meet the curriculum. So tell us more, Kate. Oh, yeah, the vlog. I'm such a bad vlogger. So we finally made it. We're at Three Sisters Vineyards in Delanaga. Took us an hour and a half. Um, so now we're picking four wines to try. And yeah. <laughs> Which ones you getting? I don't know yet. I want to get this pineapple infused one. But I really like sweet wines. So I want to try like different kinds Ooh. and not limit myself. So I don't know. Okay, so the way that this is working is you guys are going to start at your handles and you're going to work your way down each column from the dry section to the sweet section. Right. Okay. And then which one is Fat Boy? So the first one we have is called Fat Boy and it's off dry. So we're going to try this one. Oh, it's disgusting. I don't got that one. 
and good looking out. It's not dry though. It's not, it's not dry. dry. Well, it says off dry, but yeah. it's just the flavor is not it's there. Their, it's their favorite, favorite one. That's what they said. Okay, next. I can see why it's the Which favorite one though. Sweet Pinky? Oh, me too. All right, so Sweet Pinky <laughs> is a sweet and specialty wine. Mm -hmm. And it's a sweet blend for those warm Georgia days. That's the description. It kind of tastes like pink Moscato. It do. Yeah. It do. That's all it tastes like. It's the aftertaste not, it's not doing it for me. Yeah, I it tastes like barefoot. <laughs> I can continue to teach it. I mean, I continue to drink it though. Yeah. So do y'all have hula hula? Girl, I yep. don't eat. This is crazy. <laughs> all right. What's next? Okay, so hula hula is the pineapple infused wine. It's another sweet one. I like that one. I like that one too. Try it again. <laughs> like her taste was gonna be different. It's not bad. It got it got stuck in my throat the first time. That's what happened. This guy, this is this is it. Yeah, that one's pretty good too. Did y'all get gold? It's a lot of good gold. Mm -hmm. So this one is a dessert wine. So it's gonna be a lot girl, sweeter. I got the peach tree dance. She didn't get that one. No. Oh, you go ahead and do that. You didn't do that. Right. You didn't do fat boy. Chicken yeah. street dance. Tastes like ripe peach. That's what it said. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't really like it. We're going to move on. Now we're going to move on. I don't like the smell. Yes. Um, but I like peach. It doesn't taste like peach. It's interesting. It's not. It's a very interesting. Concept. It's not. It's not. It doesn't go down. Fine. Finish one of yours. I can put it in here. Yeah. All right. So are you gonna do the next one now? Yeah. All right. So the last the one, one we all got is the one. Delana Gold. Delana Gold. It's a dessert wine, so it's sweeter and I guess has like more calories or whatever. So this one, we're banking on this one. First of all, that is. It's sweet. very sweet. Yes. It's like juice almost. This is what Doesn't I like. It tastes like oh. juice. It does. That is. That is sweet. I like. That's why they didn't give me much. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, it's an All right, so this is my favorite. What's y'all's favorite? Delonica. Delonica Gold. Definitely. It's an ice wine. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Let me go get the grapes. Give me out. Go get the grapes. <laughs> now they can't find the grapes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're so glad. You can take the girl out the, out, the, out, the, out the the city, but you can't take the city out the girl. You know the fucking city. All right, so I don't really know where we left off. I think the last time we were, I recorded, we were probably tasting wine. But yeah, after that, we just tasted um, the four different wines that we picked. And then we walked around the vineyard and took some pictures. I'll insert them on the screen, probably, maybe. But um, yeah, obviously, like you see, I'm back home. We just stopped for some Popeyes along the way. And yeah, it was a fun experience. Like, it was definitely cute, definitely a little vibe. Um, yeah, I would recommend going wine tasting. Like, if you have nothing else to do, like... It's definitely something fun to do, but if I do it again, I want to do like like wine tours and stuff. I think like sometimes you can take a tour and go around the vineyard. So I think that would be pretty fun um, for next time. But I want to do like Chateau Alain, which is only like an hour from where I live as opposed to like Dahlonega. But there was like so many, like as we were driving, there were so many um, wineries in Dahlonega. So I think that's just like popular thing in that area so if you ever want to go wine tasting i would definitely recommend delonica because that's pretty much where they all seem to be in georgia so yeah um like i said i'm just gonna probably do some homework and chill for the rest of the night um let me know if you guys like vlogs i've never really done vlogs i'm obviously really bad at vlogging but um yeah just let me know how y'all feel about them down in the comments please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn your notifications on for another video or for my next upload and yeah, thanks for watching y'all. Bye.